From banning plastic bags to building bicycle lanes, the city of San Francisco has become a role model for others in their quest for a greener future. Hi, I'm Anita Anthony, and you're watching Echo Trek. California promotes emission-free transportation, and it is the state that has more hydrogen filling stations than any other in the United States. The Mercedes F-Cell Drive can feel right at home while driving across a hydrogen highway, where they can fill up their cars at regular gas stations. The infrastructure partners, oil companies, energy companies, gas companies, and politics must start now with implementing a sufficient hydrogen infrastructure. And together with us, uh, this has to be implemented in the next few years because we know the cars are ready to go. Christian made his way to the very edge of the coastline to a special spot overlooking the San Francisco Bay where he discovered a unique eco-instrument making a strange symphony of sounds from the sea, the wave organ. Christian met the creator of this wondrous installation to learn more about it. On a rainy and foggy day I come out to the spit of land extending from the Golden Gate Yard Club. And Peter Richards, the artist who invented the wave organ, tells me all about it. There are a series of pipes reaching into the water and wherever you sit, you can listen to music of a very special kind. The best time to visit is at night during a full moon because the tide is then very high and the sound accordingly strong, Peter says. But at any time, it's a special place meant for contemplation. When you come out here, if you come out here by yourself and just sit down and you give yourself a few minutes, you begin to realize that you're hearing a lot more than you normally do. And I think that's the real idea. It's, there's music everywhere and we just choose not to listen to it. But this is a place where you can. The f -Cell World Drive made its way from California to Oregon and its largest city, Portland. Portland scores high amongst the 20 greenest cities in the U.S. determined by the Natural Resources Defense Council in a study called 2010 Smarter Cities. We don't know what the correlation might be, but Portland has more breweries in relation to its population than any other city in the U.S. One of them, the Hopworks Urban Brewery, definitely contributes to Portland's excellent green reputation. Hopworks is Portland's first eco-brew pub. It is 100% renewably powered and cradle to gate carbon neutral. And from composting to rain barrels, impervious pavers to hand dryers, everything here is done in a sustainable way. Christian was there and checked it out. Christian Ettinger shows me around. He has always loved beer. But of course he has always drank responsibly and worked very hard to make his dream come true. Being a certified brewmaster and running his own pub restaurant. Yes, this is how the brewers drink the beer. I love my job. Hubworks produced 6,000 barrels of beer last year. This year will be 9,000. There are 10 different types of beer freshly brewed and the large pub is always packed, which you can't take for granted in Portland, Christian says. But there are 40 breweries in Portland, and why do they come here versus another one? And hopefully it's because uh, our sustainable initiatives that we invest in mean more to them than the companies that don't invest in sustainable initiatives, and hopefully the quality of our product uh, is, is good or better as a result of those initiatives. It's hardly necessary to tell you that all the food here is completely organic and absolutely delicious. Combining Portland's passion for biking and microbrewing, Metrofeed's cargo bike artisans combined the two by designing a rolling bar for Hopworks Urban Brewery. It features the bar's logo and is hand-built using wood salvage during reconstruction at Hopworks. Metrofeed's cargo bikes utilize a unique geometry, lightweight step-through frame and 24-inch front wheel which gives the bike a sporty, responsive ride while carrying up to 400 pounds in cargo. Clearly a green delivery. The skateboard is another sustainable way to roll around town. But when we think about skateboard parks, we typically envision a space of only concrete slabs. But 
Skate parks are now starting to add greener features and nature into their designs, and projects like Ed Benedict Skate Plaza in Portland, Oregon are leading the way. The FSL Tour is moving on to Seattle, and this was Echo Trek. Time, the FSL World Drive has reached Seattle, and one of the major sites here is probably the weirdest one I've ever seen.